hello welcome to my channel once again once again my question is why is it that some african americans think that when they come to africa africans try to extort money from them especially when they are buying stuffs in town that has been something that i've been hearing from some african americans not all of them but today i am going to give you the truth from an African perspective. So before I do that, please let's watch this video. When we come back, then we talk. If we come over here, y'all assume we have the money because we come from the States, which to a certain degree, because the city is less sure. But you have to think too, like let's say me, myself, I have busted my tail to save money to be even be able to come over here. So when you raise the price on me, and I'm not some uh, millionaire, you know what I mean? It's very disheartening because I save money to come here. I don't have a lot of money, you know what I mean? So in the States, I, I think there's a misconception that black people have the money. As a majority, I mean, there are like, you know, individuals, but as a majority, we have the least money in the States. So this is it. It is not true that Africans decide to extort African Americans or blacks from the diaspora this thing cuts across you know some african americans i know have not really traveled to certain tourist destinations in the world it happens everywhere mostly everywhere almost everywhere let me use that word almost everywhere it's something that happens and when it comes to africa i am from ghana so let me use ghana as an example yes that mentality that thought of not you being an african-american per se but the thought of you being one a foreigner or someone that looks like has money alone so it is not particularly african-americans alone they even do it to Ghanaians, who if they see that they have money like when you look rich when you go to the market and you want to buy anything from these market women or wherever so far as they don't have any price tag on these items they will mention any price to you but one thing that if you are an african-american or you are from the diaspora coming to africa and you don't know how the system work let me tell you in africa we bargain this is one thing that i know most african-americans are not aware of we bargain and you need to bargain listen <laughs> Sometimes these people will mention certain prices and let me tell you, we Africans, when we go and they mention these prices, we divide the prices into two. For instance, the person can tell you this thing is $1,000. I will tell the person I'm giving him $500. And that is where the negotiation starts. So we will start negotiating to the time that I feel like, okay, this price that this person is giving to me is okay that has been the thing for a very long time so some of you don't understand and you come and on the internet and you'll be like they are trying to extort us they don't like us there are certain comments that i've seen on the net and it's just crazy how people think someone dropped a comment and the person was like they want to extort us and that is the reason why they are telling us to come to africa how come how 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 can someone on this earth think this way like how can you even think this way we want to extort you that is why we are telling you to come back to africa so meaning for example the year of return that the president of ghana initiated or made it possible for african americans to come to africa it was mainly for africans or african americans to come for us to extort them like seriously and another comment that i saw like the other person was also saying that we don't like them the person is saying we don't like them that's why we are doing that to them and i'm like no sometimes most of you you don't understand these things and it is better you get people who will teach you or let you understand how africa works listen when kai senat came to nigeria or came to africa he first went to nigeria there was a guy his name is shank he was leading or, or taking him around and they got to a place and kai senat wanted to buy something the guy that was taking him around told him that that is how it works you need to bargain you need to negotiate with a person but i don't know why a lot of you feel like 
we see you as cash cows and when you come to Africa, we want to extort money from you. Listen, even we Ghanaians or Africans, they even do it to us when we go to the market. They do it to us. So all you have to do is just back in. This it's not something that is common with, let's say, just African Americans. No. Everybody, like the moment they see you as somebody, even if you are not that, you don't even look rich, they will mention the price to you and sometimes you need to bargain, especially if you know that it is too expensive. You need to bargain. You being a Ghanaian, you don't even look like a rich person. They do it to you. It is something that is there already. So just learn how to bargain. Or if you can't do that too, I saw a comment. Someone was suggesting that try and go with a local. And that is true. Because one, you don't understand the language. You don't know these people, how, how they operate. So it is better you get someone that you trust, a Ghanaian that you trust or an African that you trust and go with a person to the market. That is the only thing that you can do to get a better price on everything that you buy. Until that time that you will understand, the, like you understand the language and you can easily communicate with them, just do something like that and you are good. Some of you come onto the internet and you make it seem like Africa is so bad and we are extorting, we are doing that, we don't like you. Bro, you don't understand the system. Ask somebody. Please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. If we come over here, y'all assume we have the money because we come from the States, which to a certain degree because the city is less sure. But you have to think too, like let's say me, myself, I have busted my tail to save money to be even be able to come over here. So when you raise the price on me, and I'm not some uh, millionaire, you know what I mean? It's very disheartening because I save money to come here. I don't have a lot of money, you know what I mean? So in the States, I, I think there's a misconception that black people have the money. As a majority, I mean, there are like, you know, individuals, but as a majority, we have the least money in the States. If we come over here, y'all assume we have the money because we come from the States, which to a certain degree, because the city is less sure. But you have to think too, like let's say me, myself, I have busted my tail to save money to be even be able to come over here. So when you raise the price on me and I'm not some uh, millionaire, you know what I mean? It's very disheartening because I save money to come here. I don't have a lot of money, you know what I mean? So in the States, I, I think there's a misconception that black people have the money. As a majority, I mean, there are like, you know, individuals, but as a majority, we have the least money in the state.